Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sharon Whiteman, and it's my great pleasure and privilege to be here every week with each and every one of you joining us live or those of you who review this down the track. We know Saturday morning is not great for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I partner with Donna Hunter and Gary Knapp, and it's our privilege today to have welcome back Sinead Pollock. Now, Sinead rejoined the Mantec corporate team as director of sales in January this year. She brings with her extensive experience in network marketing with a strong sales and business development focus. She's Irish, older <laughs> than she used to be, and obsessed with her three-year-old Dasha and Gigi. So on this call, Sinead will share her vision for the future of Mantec. We'll invite you to explore how you would like to propel your personal vision of success in partnership with Mantec. had encouragement and coaching on executing that vision so we're all about learning to move forward you know it's kind of drawing a line in the sand whatever you need to with your partnership with Mantech from the past and step forward in um, action and remembering why we all love Mantech so deeply so uh, Sinead welcome and before I'll just customer service thing um, because this is I'm going to stay live on this just warning everybody and anybody who's watching the recording that my internet is I don't have any ADSL anymore and Starlink hit, goes behind trees every once. So if I freeze, um, I'm just frozen for a while and Sinead will jump in and carry on, but I apologize <laughs> for that quality that it impacts. Or if my so dog barks, vice versa. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. You do a song and dance when I'm frozen, look like I'm just... <laughs> yes, I just... yeah. So Sinead, welcome and thank you. For, I mean, you just sometimes I'm, I've been in my life so appreciative of people. I feel like I'm sitting at the feet of giants. I just am enjoying and loving respecting people's expertise and their passion and what they bring to a team or a community or, a, you know, an area of our great life. So, Sinead, thank you for being here. Well, firstly, thank you for having me. Um, it, it's it's a pleasure to be here and it's been a pleasure to to reconnect with some people and obviously meet some new people. Um, before we start off, I just want to do a huge thank you to Sharon, Diana and Gary. You know, their tireless work that they do and have done for such a long time in bringing these amazing Saturday morning calls to our Manitech community. And didn't they kick off the year with a bang? Now, let's be clear. So if you haven't <laughs> seen the last three calls, go back. But they started with the brand new silver presidential from the US, uh, Ursula Myers and I think, Sharon, your word was firecracker. She was inspirational and she really shows Absolutely. what's possible with this business. And then we had our beautiful Bella Yu, who's a new face to me um, uh, since I've been back, sharing all those wonderful things about Luminovation. And I'm going to be very clear, I had them still in the box. And after Bella's call, I went and opened all the boxes and I haven't stopped using it since. Hashtag love and the Lumi is my thing. Um, and she was a joy to watch and listen to, again, a <laughs> testament to her community. And then the one, the only Dr. Nugent talking to us all about GI Pro Balance. So excited to have that back. And I know so many of you were just, you know, when is it coming? When is it coming? But it's not just back. It's back with the bang. For those of you that missed the call, again, go back and watch these calls. These are an incredible resource for you. And I think the thing I love about Dr. Nugent is he, he explains it. He shares us with us but he gets us excited about what we have in our hands and that's something I'm going to touch on uh, this morning what we have in our hands so when I when I thought about coming on and when I thought about coming back to Manitech um you know Warren and I've been talking for some time um be before uh, we got here and when you look at the topic the topic of today's call uh, it's vision without execution one of my most favorite sayings and I don't know where I saw it first they say it's from Thomas Edison, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me, is that vision without execution is hallucination. And that was a kind of a duh, aha uh -huh moment for me. So I'll say it again. Vision without execution is hallucination. Now, if we're all honest with ourselves, we've all done some hallucinating, right? In, in all forms of our life, we've all said, I'm going to do this, and we never get there. And we don't execute. So what I want you to think about is, do you want to execute? And if you're here this morning on the Saturday morning call or you're watching it later, it tells me, well, yes, I do. I'm, I'm here for a reason. So let's talk about what I just said about Dr. Nugent getting us excited about what we have in our hands. Well, Manatech, we're an incredible company. We have incredible products. We've spent countless millions of dollars on research and development. And so for those of us that have been around for a long time, that means quality, it means efficacy, 
And it's something we really stand behind. And because of that, 30 odd years later, we're still standing strong. And I know that so many of you would never be without these amazing products. Now, whether you came in for the business first or whether you and fell in love with the products, or if you came in for the products first and fell in love with the business, it, it means something to you. So right now, I want you to hold on to that feeling. I want you to think back about what made you say yes to Manatech in the first place. What was it your upline said that made you maybe in those days sign on a form and fax it off and, and, and wait for it to happen? But what was it that you said yes to and what made you come in and, and join our community? And whichever it is, and maybe it's both, you know, it's had an impact on your life, whether it's true health and wellness and the products and and uh, the, the, the compensation plan and the finances, but it's had an impact on your life, right? So I want you to think all about that for a second. Why wouldn't you want to share that with somebody? Why wouldn't you want to have an impact on somebody? What is holding you back? Now, I gather some of the thoughts going on in people's heads right now is, I don't know what to say. I'm afraid. Where do I start? The dog ate my homework. Yeah, we've heard them all. We've told <laughs> all ourselves those things over the years. But, you know, and Sharon and I, we talked about this. We have probably one of the best trained and educated uh, associate bases in all of network marketing. And I think through many things and, and, you know, we have a still, there's a little bit of the COVID hangover, but I think we put that to rest. We've lost a rhythm in our business. And so when we lose a rhythm, we kind of go, oh, I don't know where to start. Well, you do. And I'm here to remind you because none, nothing I'm going to share today is going to be revolutionary. You're going to sit there for those of you that have been around a long time and go, yes, I know that. And if you're new, maybe it is revolutionary. So I'll, I'll take that point, right? Um, but at the end of the day, it starts and ends with you. Just you. It starts with you and the decisions you make. So if you're still sitting there going, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Well, here, here's the thing for me. You look at the basics and you give yourself a little quick wins, right? And these are probably things you're already doing. So we're going to give yourself a little tick mark as we go along. Be product of the product. Tick, right? I think everybody in this chat is going to tell me, yes, we've already taken our products this morning. Absolutely. Be a product of the product. And be informed. Know what's going on. Know what the current monthly incentive is, what the current promo is. You don't need to rely on your upline. You get emails. You're in the social media group. You know what's happening. You just need to be intentional in that. Why, why rely on somebody else to do something for you when you can do it yourself? Familiarize yourself with the library, nine times out of 10, and I know it's not easy. The answer's in there. And there is a new app coming soon, so hold tight to that point. There's a new app that's coming soon that will make that easier also, okay? So honestly, be informed, be aware, know how to find things. Um, lead by example, you can't ask somebody to do something you're not doing yourself. Simple thing is, if you're asking somebody to set up an automatic order, do you have one? Again, these are all the little ticks that you're giving. And then show up, right? So you're here on the call this morning, that's a good, good start. But are you on the business booster calls? Are you on your team calls? Are you showing up? And not just showing up, how are you showing up? And I don't mean how you look, I don't care whether you put your lipstick on or not, but it's, it's, it's all about attitude. If you bring somebody new in and they show up, if you're, oh, it's too hard, they're gonna think it's too hard. You want to be engaged. You want to be uh, proactive. And it's like anything. If we bring out a new incentive and you don't like it, maybe your team will. So if this is the new thing. This new pen is the new thing. And you're going, oh, well, I don't like it. It's glittery. That's not my thing. Maybe your team will. So instead of thinking like that, think about how can I make this work in my business? And that's really things that you're probably already doing. And it's great to see that Rhonda's in the call on this call in her PJs. I saw it. <laughs> I just get a little bit distracted by that. Okay, so <laughs> if, if you're listening now, you know all this, right? And you've probably given yourself a lot of ticks. So you're already on the road to where you need to be. And so there's three other things that you need to think about. Focus, goals, and action, right? 
The successful person is merely the average person focused. That It's that simple. They've decided, they put the blinkers on and, and they're going for it. And with that, switch off and shut out. That's That's the key thing. So a few of you that I've spoken to already, I've talked about um, time blocking. So on a Sunday night, get your diary out and plan out your week. And what I mean by that is I have to go to work. The kids need to go to school. The dog needs to go to the vet. It's my mother-in-law's birthday. It's whatever Wednesday. And then you decide how much time you have in your Manatech business. And in that period of time, you'll be focused. Now, it might be two hours, it might be five hours, it might be 10 hours. There's no hard and fast rule and it may change week over week. But it's what you do in that time and you staying focused in that time is going to make a difference. So that's not the time to be playing on Facebook or a listen to a podcast. Do that in the car. Do that while you're waiting to pick up the kids. This should be based on results. What is going to give you results? And what I mean by that is what's going to put PV in your business and what's going to put a dollar in your pocket. OK, so you want to be doing things that are going to move your business forward. The other thing with focus is to get good at saying no. And that's hard sometimes. You know, they say focus is not saying yes to one good thing. It's saying no to 100 other good things. And sometimes it's about priorities. So if you set yourself aside an hour every day for your Manatech business, make sure that's what you're doing and say no to to you know the distraction i'm just sitting down to watch the next episode of whatever in netflix it'll be there tomorrow so getting good at saying no goals and i'm not going to spend too much on this just because i know we've done a lot with al on our business boosters calls but goals are very very simple in my mind and we've all done the big hairy audacious goals as they're known right and what i mean by that is i'll be pd tomorrow not impossible but the reality of it is it's probably not likely but somebody saying to me is my goal is I'm going to bring on one new customer every month for the year. I'll say, great, that's achievable, but is it stretching you? So your goal needs to be stretchable. Okay, it needs to stretch you. You need to put effort and to work into it. And then simple things. Tell somebody your goal. Write it down. Visualize it. Visualize it. And then, and it's a slogan that works for a specific company for a reason, just do it just do it okay because when you step into action you need to move before you're motivated okay because the diet starts tomorrow the diet starts on monday monday never comes there's always a reason move before you're motivated if you wait till you're motivated you're missing time because you don't you don't you don't think your way into new way of acting. You act yourself into a new way of thinking. So you got to move and you start act, the, the act of doing will make a difference and get yourself some early wins. An example of an early win. Right. If you haven't you know, been connecting with people and you're not sure what you can do to add more PV into your business. Have you contacted people in your business about GI Pro Balance being back in stock? You know, getting somebody who loved that product back on that product, that's an early win, an easy win. So look at your business, because when you put those easy wins in, and it comes into my next line, uh, progress is the key to perseverance. If you feel you're making progress, you'll persevere. Now, somebody said to me yesterday, isn't it perseverance is the key to progress? And I said, well, that depends on your perspective. But no matter which way you flip it, it's, it, it, it'll still get you to the same place. If you persevere, you'll progress. And if you progress, you're more likely to persevere. So give yourself some easy wins. So maybe your mother-in-law has been saying, I really want to try your products and you've never really got around to it. Well, go talk to your mother-in-law or your next door neighbor or whoever it is. And then finally, with your action, well, actually, there's two things. Um, pick a sustainable pace. You mentioned Don uh, Partridge uh, coming up in a couple of weeks, and I have a very vivid memory of Don Partridge at our Adelaide convention years ago. And we had a panel on the fall, the last day. I, I, Sharon's laughing because, to be fair, Don Partridge is pretty unforgettable. Um, and somebody asked the question, what do I do? I'm the busiest person in the world, works really, really hard. And what, what, what Don said is what I'm going to say here. You adjust your pace. So if you have, some people will have an hour a week and you're probably not a go, going to go as fast as somebody that's 10 hours a week. You adjust your pace. You just don't stop. Because when you stop, it's harder to get going again. So you just work at a pace that works for you. 
This is network marketing. It's designed to work around your lifestyle and what you need. But as JP Coster says, it's network marketing, not net do nothing marketing. So find your pace and work to it. You know, Jim Rohn says that eating seven apples on a Sunday night will never be as effective as eating one apple a day. And he's not wrong. However, I'm going to I'm going to challenge that there is one thing. If you've set a goal and you're a week away and you're not quite there, have a finishing frenzy up, up your pace to get your goal done. You will be so happy that you did. And I'm always very clear, a finishing frenzy and leaving to things till the last minute are not the same thing. A finishing frenzy is where you've been working solidly all along and you're going to do a push to get the job done. Leaving it till the last minute is, well, you haven't listened to the bit about focus or goals or action and you've just decided, oh, maybe, maybe I should do something now. So think about it, right? Think about it. There's not... There's not nothing revolutionary here. And if you've been around a while, you know all this. You absolutely know all this. And some of you are thinking, okay, well, what do I do to put rhythm back into your business? And there's, I can see a few names here that I've had some conversations with already. And this is where we go old school people. What's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to write a list. How many, how many people remember when they joined back in 1990 or 2000 and uh, where they're up <laughs> write a list? There's a reason, yes, Kelly's laughing, she was told, uh, write a list and you're going, oh, that's old school. Well, go technical, put it on your iPad, put it on your iPhone. I like paper, but that's just me. The biggest thing I do on a list is on a Friday before I leave the office, I email myself a list for Monday. That's about as technical as it gets for me. But whatever way you do it, write a list. And then you action that list. Now we heard on the first call of the year with Ursula Myers about how she builds online. And the big key point for me on that was also, she sets up a phone call. So she takes that online relationship and she looks to strengthen it very quickly. And a lot of you have an online presence and that's fantastic because it gives us a platform. Um, I'm a firm believer when I look at um, Instagram and I look like things like uh, TikTok, uh, there are people on there with millions and millions of followers and they come on and hi you guys and they're talking to their community and they're influencing people you did it first network marketers are the original influencers except we didn't have instagram and we you know facebook came in later and we didn't have tiktok but that's what you did you built a community you shared what you were passionate about and you influenced people to give it a go you are the original influencers. So whether you built it online or whether you did it on person, it is really the same thing. The tools have changed, right? There is more than one way to skin a cat. So if you're local, building a local team around you, and you're, sorry, if you're local, of course you're local to wherever you are, um, in your location, if you want to build a team around you, that is so great. Sitting down and having a cup of coffee with somebody, right? I'm going to do a quick... Uh, uh, step back to COVID because I know it's a time we all hate talking about but when we couldn't have those cups of coffee with people we didn't like it now we can what, what's stopping you getting your team together you know when you bring an active building team together you create energy you create momentum and um, it's a great environment to bring new people into and the reality of it is Everybody needs new people in their business. That's how our business can continue to grow and to grow and to grow. And there's nothing as exciting as seeing the look on a new person's face that's really enjoying it and getting into it. And this is what we do by communities. Now, if they're not near you, Zoom's a great thing. We can see each other's faces, we can connect, mm -hmm. and it really strengthens the relationship because technology gives us um, additional ways to do it that works within our lifestyle, right? But the biggest thing we do is we build community. We sell supplements, we sell pills, we sell powders. Our business is really people. And that hasn't changed. That really hasn't changed. And so us coming together, us sharing, us being in that environment is the biggest thing you can do for your business. It's about support. It's about connection. And it's about our Manatech community. So I'm going to go back to the first question. What's holding you back? So I'm going to say to everybody, and I'm going to challenge everybody, you need to write your list. And you need not to procrastinate, and you need to do it today. We have an amazing comp plan. 
Um, I did refresher training with Andrew and Warren was sitting there and I said, I came in on the wrong side. Because uh, there's money to be, there. there is money there to do it. So I want you to think about it, right? I really want you to write that list. And as Sharon and Diana uh, alluded to earlier, we have an amazing incentive right now where you can even earn more money. So not as only the compound going to pay you, but Cindy's feeling generous and she's going to release the cash if you do what you're supposed to do. So why why wouldn't you? We have an amazing thing in our uh, compensation plan that's actually new to me. It wasn't here when I left. U plus two. And I've been playing around with the numbers on U plus two and they're not quite done yet, so I won't share them. But U plus two is you building a customer pod and you showing two associates how to do the same. And there's money in that. So let me tell you one thing I'm going to say to you all, because I know the product love in this in community is immense. If you're talking to somebody about the product, and we're going to talk Luminovation here because it's the hot new thing. And somebody said, my skin looks good. Loving the Lumi. Yes. Um, uh, you're going to talk to somebody and they're going to say, all oh, right, Sharon, I really, really want to get going on this. I love this product. Let, let, let's get me some. Before you sign the person up, I want you to ask some questions. And I want you to do this every single time that you talk to a person. Sharon, before we get you started with your products, let's make sure we're doing it in a way that's right for you. Are you somebody, if you you know look at Netflix box set, tell the whole world, or you get a new lipstick, you tell the whole world, or you go out to a fancy restaurant, you tell all your friends, and you do a post on social media? No. <laughs> Sharon says, for this instance, Sharon's going to say yes. Yes. <laughs> Sharon said yes. And you say, okay, well, if you're if you're that referring type of person, there's a way you can refer these products and possibly and get paid and possibly get your products paid for. Is that something you'd like to know more about? And you might get a yes. Awesome. Or yeah. you might get a no. Right? Like Sharon's going, no. Then that, there's no loss. Sharon's still going to come on uh with your with your as a customer. And remember, when your customer, like so many of you that came in for the product first, fell in love with the product, may look at the business afterwards. And now they're aware that there is a business and they're going to watch what you're doing. But you're doing what's right for them, but you're adding in a vital step so you can make sure that they know that there is an impact on it for them. Okay? So your language is important. If you say, Sharon, you're loving the idea of Luminovation, before we get started, let's talk about you building a business. Most people are going to go, well, huh? where, did, where did that come from? So your language and how you speak to people is important. Now, there are going to be people out there for sure that just want to know about the business, and that's awesome. But if you, and again, listening to Colleen Ryan last week, if you listen to Colleen, she asks a lot of questions because it's about them. And I know I said earlier, it starts with you, but it's not about you. You have to make your, mm. your, your interactions with people about them because you want to have an impact on them. Maybe, maybe they need amber toes. Maybe they're just, you know, need plus. Maybe they just want to have nice skin. Maybe they want true health. That's not your decision, but you guide them based on the questions that you asked, you, you, you ask. And if you don't ask any questions, you don't know how to look after somebody in the best way for them. And if people think you're doing what's right by them, they're going to be more connected with you and you're going to strengthen that. And then what do you do? You do it again and again and again and again. And you do it again and again. And I'm going to keep saying that. You keep just keep doing it. And I, I guarantee you, and not everybody's in the chat, people are going, yeah, I remember that. And, you know, we learned that from Don Partridge or we learned that from Mary Jo Hilliker or Karen Dennis taught us that or, or somebody. This is not revolutionary thinking. It is very much back to basics. And I'm going to put it out there and go, you all know what, what to do. You really, really do. But what I want you to do is think of this. Why were you passionate about Manatech in the first place? And the reason you were passionate in the first instance may not be the same reason now, but think about why you're here and why you do this. It does start with the why. Think about it. And then it's up to you what you want to do. And if you decide, you know, I'm happy where I am, that's fine. But you're here, so it's telling me you want to do more. So you can either make excuses or you can make progress, but you can't make both. And the choice is yours. And I'll shut up now. <laughs> and Sharon just froze, so we're just going to... Oh, I just want to qualify what I said. 
<laughs> oh, here I am. No, I um, I just want to qualify what I said because. I was thinking, you know, in those comments in there, Sharon told everybody, and that's true. But I think that the thing that would get me is if you, the question, um, you know, if you had the benefits that we're talking about this, are you someone that would like to, would generally let other people know, pass on the good news and that, and I didn't, I don't do expose much except a few jokes and a few kids and a few pets on social media, which is my failing, but face-to-face -face or phone calls or messages or in my community I definitely always speak up absolutely and it is about your comfort level you mm. know like it, and you know social media gives you greater um exposure yeah um, but it's like anything if you post once in a blue moon it's not going to do anything for you consistency is key whether it's in person or online yeah, absolutely. Right? absolutely because if you build an online community you might not be doing team get-togethers over coffee at your local coffee shop but you've got to be doing Zoom get-togethers and you've got to be doing team calls and you've got to be connecting. So maybe you're bringing your cup of tea or your glass of wine, whatever's your fancy, <laughs> do it. But you've got to create that community no matter what method you use. And there's no reason you can't do both. And Mat like, Matic has a legacy of that, don't they? Yeah, and, and to be fair, we when in our biggest days, it was all done face-to-face -face because we didn't really know much about social media and it mm. wasn't a thing. When I joined... Uh, Manatech first uh, enrollment application still came through the fax and the team would sit there and go do that can anybody read this <laughs> and there was it was slow because you know if somebody had written down the wrong number on a credit card it didn't go through and then you had to follow up and go back and forth and back and forth and but you know what technology is our friend now you can do I don't know when I last took a card out of my wallet to pay for something I do everything tap on my phone so if anybody steals my phone, I'm, but technology is there. We choose how we use it. Again, the fundamental basics of our business do not change. It's just the tools and how we make people feel is what matters. Um, Imelda Roach, who's a, an iconic figure in our industry and um, started Nutrimetics here and um, been involved with the DSA a long time, uh, always says, and she, she credits this to her husband, Bill. People go where there's excitement, but they stay where they're loved. Mm -hmm. And it, it comes back to how we make people feel. So you have a choice. Do you, are you happy where you are or do you want to go out and make a difference to people and how they feel? So just think that's in the Irish jig. We want video of that later, Patsy, okay. to be fair. We want to see that in Irish jig on Facebook. <laughs> you put it out there and give it a back. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh. So I know um, I wanted to ask you, there's, you've got, you know, you're developing a strong vision for 2024 and some of it's not fully informed yet, but yep. is there anything that you can tell us of what you have planned going forward? Um, well, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like I hit, had to hit the ground running. Um, and, and that's not a bad thing because when you come into January and the, the, the years out ahead of you, you've got to take a look at that and see what's, what's going to be effective. There is another incentive coming in March. Um, I'm not going to say too much about that. It's not a travel incentive. It'll be a shorter uh, incentive as we look at what we're doing later. And um, some of you may have heard rumors about a manifest being on the table or not being on the table. That's kind of holding back what we plan to do, understanding where where that's going to happen, if it's going to happen and in, in what timeline. So I've got a, a plan for manifest and a plan that I'm working on for a plan B or whichever way you look at it. Um, mm. We do want to get out and about more. I think, and Warren has committed to it being a year of training. So we're probably going to try and kick some maybe Saturday trainings off. Um, I'd say in the second quarter of the year, just from a timing point of view, getting things up and running. What that looks like yet, I don't know, but I, I would like us to get out and about. Um, I just made sure Andrew has a passport. <laughs> um, because again, we're Australia, we're New Zealand and we're Singapore. And I have connected with some of our Kiwi friends already. And we're looking at, at, at connecting with our Singaporean friends and seeing how we can support our whole community. Um, the other thing that, you know, and I've made mention to it, there is a new app coming soon. Um, uh, I've watched, I'm halfway through watching a video that they did on Turnley on it. Um, I've had to keep stopping it. I'm, I'm quite excited. It looks really, really good. Um, I'm going to call a spade a spade here. Our, I know our library frustrates us from time to time, but this should be, uh, another resource that you're not having to use the library that it's there it's an app it looks clean it looks fresh I'm actually quite excited about that coming along the way and I feel like I just think 
it's 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 time to reconnect uh bring our communities back together and um i've said this on a couple of calls and um just pull her finger out and I, i'm talking about us too in corporate not just everybody like rodney always said rodney gilchrist everybody wins when everybody wins and absolutely all tides rise you know it's it's we're better together and going forward but i'm telling you here and now there's nothing more exciting than being in a room having a meeting about illumination or amber tolls or the opportunity and having some new people and hear that seeing them hear it for the first time it's such a great experience and why wouldn't we want to do more about uh, of that so think about what you can do also you know don't don't wait for us you like i said you all know what to do you've been doing it for years just put the rhythm back in and yes complain you're you're not wrong Rhonda because that was the first thing I said to Drew I said I know this pretty well I reckon but let's do it and if you saw my whiteboard right now absolutely comp plan training that's something that's Drew and I are working on a list and it's just about the order right now and comp plan is definitely in that absolutely because you want to know how to make money and that's good you're on mute Sharon Speaking of dogs, my dog is barking. Oh, um, <laughs> oh my, mine's asleep. Um, there's another question in regards to um, Andrew's hit a new onboarding portal, so a new slicker way to bring people in to an account. You know anything about that? Uh, mm, I think that might be to do with the app. I'm I'm not fully across, but I I need to double check because that okay. specifically hasn't been talked about me. Now I will tell you. Yesterday I decided to enroll myself. I didn't go all the way through, and it was actually relatively easy. I was quite surprised. I was expecting because you hear things, and I said to Andrew, I said, "Oh, that was fairly simple." Um, just figured out because we we have a test account, so just making yeah. sure I had the right account number. But I had to play around. What if I just had a name and what would happen? And it was it was actually better than I remembered it. So if there's been work done in the last five years, I, I, I think realistically there's there's a fluidity about it. Um, just remember when you're enrolling somebody, you know, there's a customer care part that comes into it because you're going to have those people saying, yeah, yeah, I'm really technically minded, I'll do it. And they don't pay attention and they click all over the place. But if you can set up time while somebody's having a cup of coffee with you just to take them through it or, you know, be on a Zoom or whatever, just to make sure they're they're good, it's an extra level of customer care. And it's adding, you know, it's strengthening that relationship. But let me, let me, um, uniform on board. let me talk to, to Andrew about that because maybe I'm thinking it, he's calling it something else to me, but yeah. I'll ask. I'll make yeah, there's it. definitely gratitude about the calendar for 2024 for people's planning. So they're saying, yay, that they want that. Yes. Um, and then a, a specific question. So maybe this might be good for a, an online training, Dita, is I try to sign up because the different sponsor to me as the enroller but i couldn't figure out is it possible um i believe it is still just because i i've seen uh, a report where somebody has um, i'm going to be very honest why why would you our comp plan really supports you being the sponsor and the enroller um and i know people do for different reasons but you know for and i'm talking to everybody here they say on the plane you got to fix your own mask before you help somebody else it's the same thing. Make sure your own business is in order. So if your volume isn't isn't the structure isn't right for your rank, making sure you fix that. So putting somebody under somebody else is probably not the best decision for you right now. And I understand why people make it, and I'm not dissing that. And um, Dita, I didn't try to do that yesterday. Let me double check that. Uh, oh, again, another note. Let's let's hope I can understand my writing <laughs> come Monday morning. Um, but honestly, I think our compound is designed really because the old comp plan sponsored and roller was a bigger thing. And, and mm. while it still has value here, I think realistically for everybody wanting to move forward, I would be doing sponsor and enroller as myself for now, but I would so check. It, that. This is the second time I've heard that. You froze well, again, Sharon. You oh, froze. Sorry. Right. The advice now is for, um, to sponsor everyone which means they're they're recommending wide businesses as opposed to depth is there is that something specific to the new plan no but if you look at and somebody told me their their goal during the week was team 10 and i went oh and that's when i said to oh, andrew we need to really need to do the refresher training because that's the part i don't know and doing team 10 
you know, if under the old plan, we always said, if you brought somebody on, you only ever helped them in the first leg. But how many times did we actually through that build a business for somebody they didn't build themselves? All right. You want to help people. And it's the old thing. Do you, do you, do you give a man a fish or a fishing rod? So you want to show them how to enroll themselves. And you do that by enrolling first for you. Okay. Because you, as wide as you can go, you're going to get more, pay the highest percentage on your level one. Okay. And of course you want depth because obviously as you rank up, you get paid in, in depth and that that's your stability in your business. But what you want to be doing is developing leaders in depth mm. that are replicating and duplicating what you're doing. I'm not saying you don't give somebody a hand every now and then it's human nature, but I get back to the question, do you give a man a fish or you give him a fishing rod? Mm. So what you want to do is you want to develop people who are going to go out and do what you do. And what you do is you develop leaders. Because I'd like us to get to a situation where we're doing a call and all we're going is, oh my God, we can't fit any more names on the slide for new silver associates, new gold associates, new directors. And that's the rhythm that I really want us to see. The presidentials and the gold executives will come if we start doing that rhythm at the bottom. How many new silver associates did we have this month? How many new gold associates did we do this month? I'm going to say I played with some numbers and doing U plus two with everybody having two customers ordering Luminovation. I think you're almost at director in a month. Right. And not everybody will do that. But my mm. point is it's it's there and it's achievable. And if you look at Ursula Myers, this is it is what's possible. Right. So when you look at it, you then um and I use Luminovation as an example because there's a lot of excitement about Luminovation. And if you're not aware of we're doing training with OSHA, um have you been living under a rock? Um, <laughs> um but my point is you 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 Look back at your business when you started and look back at the leaders you had. This is what you did. As, as much as you gave people a hand, you develop leaders. You actually develop leaders. There's a lot of depth in people's businesses and there was a lot of ranks along the way. That's what you're trying to do. That's really what you're trying to focus on. Okay. And it, can you give any like uh, early tips or pointers of how you think the new app is going to assist people partnering in business? What kind of features does it have that's going to be supportive? It, it <clears throat> has an emergency button. And when you press it, um, Drew wakes up and will answer all your questions. Um, <laughs> it'll, it, I think the referral process and how you direct people to it from what Ben Mayo was saying. Um, so, you know, you can give somebody your number and they go to manatech.com and they got lost. His first thing was that should stop that happening. And they're getting confused. Um, it'll have resources at your fingertips so you're not looking around in the library. Um, there's There'll be features that will come out in the first wave and then there'll be stuff that will be added on later. Like I said, I'm only halfway through the call, but I I, I was quite impressed I, I, from what I'd seen, um, how they're going to set up, um, where there's going to be tools and resources, how you can access it and how you can use your referral link, which I think if we're looking to move forward, making it easier to get somebody um started with you is always a, a key thing but we will we will plan a call on it when we know more um because drew has been busy trying to load stuff into it uh from our library and um yeah the library in your office will default to the usa Rhonda. that's the same for everybody sorry just got distracted by that um as soon as i go to the library i just have to change the country I, it's it's i think it's how it's set up I don't agree. I don't disagree that it's frustrating, but it does. Um, <laughs> we've spent a bit of time in there getting rid of really, 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 really old, probably irrelevant stuff actually during the week as, as Drew was trying to load up. So there's a whole process to get stuff up and ready and, and, and out there so that it is in a good place for us. And to be fair, here's the thing about an app, everybody. If you're got, everybody has a phone. Don't lie to me and tell me that you don't. Everybody's got a phone. You've got no excuses. Your business is going to be right here. All right. So we will do a proper call on it once we have more information and uh, sharing. And if the timing's right, maybe we can do it on, on this platform. We can we can have a conversation about that too, if that works for you. Mm, that'd be great. Yep. I mean mm. Yeah. We just I, want people I, to thrive and, and I'm looking at your comment about the library. Go ahead. No, because we put up the kickstart yeah, incentive. I and <laughs> I love you time to read it. <laughs> yeah. And I, I searched the word kick the other day and it gave me one document. When I put in the word kickstart, the two came up. I'm going, how does that make sense? 
<laughs> so <clears throat> I think they're, you know, the solutions they're bringing in will uh, yeah. resolve the archaic nature of our current library. And it's, it's overwhelming and outdated much of the documents. How many have you removed, Sinead? 80. <laughs> and you just got and started. And I wasn't right? done. I wasn't done. Yeah, I, I lost the will to live. I'm not going to lie. But let me tell you <laughs> the other thing that we've done. And if you're in our Manatech Australasia business community group, like for Luminovation, we created guides. And so the most relevant Luminovation is, stuff is in there. So you don't have to go to the library. We put the new price list in there. I know the GI Pro stuff is almost complete and apologies for the delay. We'll put that in there too, because it's, again, if it's in our Facebook community, you know it's the most current. It's easier for us to take down when it's no longer relevant. But we've started using that as, as another resource for you. So you're not having to combat the library for everything. So as we do new things, we'll always post in the Facebook community as well, because then if it's an easy share into your other groups or your social media. So that's the other thing that we're doing. Yeah, you have to, um, Australasian business Facebook group is what's it called? So it's Manatech Australasia business group. community. It used business. to be Manatech business Australasia private group. And I was going, what, what is that? We're <laughs> Just making we're it up as I go along. No, no, that's what it used to be. So uh, we did change the name. Yeah. Here we go. Um, Luminovation uh, is on the new price list. I don't know that we're actually doing a standalone one. Kelly, that's the first somebody's told me about that. There are some images that we put together in that are in the library that have pricing on them. And that's a nicer, easier share. And um, we didn't put PV because it was designed for you to share with somebody who doesn't know what PV is. And we didn't want to confuse people. But um, I don't believe there's a standalone Luminovation in the works, but I can ask that on Monday. Because that that's new that's that's a new one on me, but no worries. Mm -hmm. Just out of any other questions? That, yeah, I've got a, I have. If you're you using Luminovation and you're in the to tell me in the chat just by putting an L in the chat that you're using Luminovation. I just I'd love to see. Um, because when I arrived, Sindhu gave me uh said here's a present for you, and um I I let it sit there until I watched Bella. To be fair. And I love it. I absolutely, I, I, I was very surprised. I haven't tried the returning skincare yet because I wanted to use the daily care on its own, but I love it. Okay. Okay, there's a lot in there. Okay. Are we loving it? I want to, I, I, I want to, yes, if you're loving it. Just remember, there's going to be homework at the end of this. <laughs> okay. Why very aren't cool. you telling people about it? Why aren't you telling people about it? How many How many of you have had a little get together and tried it on your friends? How many of you have talked to people about it? We're tired. We're tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hoppy, not a hope. <laughs> I'm not buying that. Hoppy came to me with an excuse and she got told what was what. Um, yeah, so. Adida, hang. Yeah, hang. So, so honestly, get out there it's it, you know what it's a fun thing to talk about it's a beautiful it is a beautiful product i have to say and i spend a lot on skincare um and i actually think it's really good value for money because i know what i've some things i've bought that i haven't liked and i've never used again in the past based on recommendations and the the, the price i know for some will go oh but if you look at somewhere like david jones or meyer or somewhere like mecca there's a lot more money that people spend on skincare and I hate to say vanity sells, but vanity sells. And this is not just for women, right? So what I'm saying to you right now is if you haven't had a get together, I saw Sandy Bray do some really nice pictures. She had some people around. She made it a social thing. She did a little few drinks and nibbles. You don't need to do that, but you can do that if you'd like to. Honestly, what's stopping you getting your girls, your girlfriends around? And when you do that and they get all excited, you say to one of your girlfriends, we can do another one of these. Do you have some people you'd like to invite? And you get some referrals from that. Um, and the other question I'm getting is, oh, does it work on an AO? And I'm going, of course it does. You do your daily care on one AO, and then you change it and you get the returning skincare. And then you just keep swapping it out. And I know that'll go, oh, you keep swapping it out. But skincare people, we love it. It's not that hard. And then somebody is going to say to you, 
I'm going through my cleanser or my toner faster than everything else. Well, we have a thing called a loyalty program. <laughs> Boom. So let's stop looking for reasons not to. And let's look at all the things that we want to. So honestly, and Sharon, you're going to ask the question next week. How many has done? How many of you have done something with Luminovation? How many of you have done something with Luminovation? Because loving it and enjoying it is great. But why aren't you telling somebody? All right, I'll stop now because they'll go, we're not coming back next week. <laughs> turn up again. Mm -hmm. um, Diane will remind me to ask that question next week. Um, yeah. I, I don't have anything else, but I did want to reflect on Manatech and what brings us all together and what unites us. Is um, I was on a spiritual call this week and um, it was just about 60 people on. And then just randomly someone came up about a history with network marketing and she just went on and on like probably five minutes of how evil it was and the dark side and really strong and money making and how bad it is and I just sat there and listened and then I put my hand up and I shared for five minutes Good <laughs> and, woman. I said, and I said you know not disrespecting your personal experience but this is my experience and I said I've been with for 26 years I had full-time income for part of it. And then, you know, I had the focus uh, redirected to a charity and I said, but it's never stopped paying me in all that time. I've never harmed a soul except for maybe at the beginning when I was a little bit inexperienced and everybody's allowed to have a learning curve. I said, mm -hmm. I've blessed thousands of people and saved many lives with this technology and it saved my life. Mm -hmm. I said, absolutely don't have a doubt in my mind that this is the best thing. And I think actually every household should have a secondary stream of income with something that they're really ethically and morally aligned to. So, and that's what we have, guys. Love it. Mm. You know, we do an awful lot more good than people ever understand. Yeah. And I'm not just talking about um, like Mission 5 Million. And, you know, I think back very fondly for those on the call, some of you may remember, we went to um, Mexico after Manifest one year and did orphanage visits. And that was incredible. That was yeah. just the most amazing trip. But think about the impact that you've had on people along the way. You know, the old st statistic in, in this country used to be that people went bankrupt for the sake of about two or three hundred dollars a month. Yeah. yeah. Now, that's not a lot of money unless you don't have it. It might as well yeah. be a million dollars. And Absolutely. most people in this in this industry just want to have, a, you know, that extra four or five hundred dollars. It pays for you know, maybe you can't afford dance classes for your, your child and she really wants to go or maybe it helps with, you know, caring for a parent um, in aged care or whatever it is. My experience in this industry that when people are on money, a lot of it is giving back in some way to family, to community and doing good with it. Now, I'm all for if you want to buy the shoes, buy the shoes. Mm. But my experience, the good <laughs> in our industry is incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's awesome, Sharon. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really important to remember. And that's that's what brought us all together. And there's a few requests, uh, Sinead, for some refresher courses. So we'll focus on that. I know Sinead's already doing that in on yep. Wednesdays and we'll focus on that for some of our topics coming up and um, like comp, comp plan basics, you know. So just just to cover that off, um, the business booster call was once a month. I'm going to be clear. I don't think that's enough. <laughs> and that was my first thought. We're going to, we're not, we had one, the Tuesday just gone. We're taking a break next week. And then the following week, we've got the three night session with OSHA. So I want to be clear on this. And this is all about Luminovation because people want to know more. Tuesday night will always all be about the daily care system. Okay. How to use it, what, how to apply it, how to talk to people about it and um, what's in it. The second night will be the returning skincare system again in the same vein. And the third night will all be about, okay, you know about the products. What do I need to do and go out and, and, and talk to people and, and, and use this in my business? We're doing three nights in a row because we feel if we string it out over three weeks, we will lose people and it'll kind of lose its impetus. Our aim is after the Tuesday night call to get that download ready and upload it into the Facebook community group the following morning as quick as we can. So if you've missed the first night, you can have the opportunity to watch it and then join in the second night. If you're working towards the certain length of the time, will they be? Right, seven o'clock Sydney time. Sorry, no, but how long do you, are you planning them? And um, the training should be about thirty minutes, and it'll be Perfect. it'll be a fifteen minute Q and A after that, because I, I I can see even with our Tuesday business booster, you get to the half an hour mark and we start to lose some people. Mm. People are time poor, and I'm very much about okay, let's be respectful of that. So. The aim That's is really to get it up yeah. and then it's then it's 
in that group for anybody to watch. And if you're working towards the Luminovation certification program and you need to train some people, if they attend these, you consider your people trained, right? Yeah. But it, it, we want to make it that easy. The following, I think around the 27th, we're planning to do a call on the Tuesday night, the 27th, on what's coming in March, on the incentive for March. And then once we get into March, we'll probably try and put a better rhythm into what we do. I feel we're reacting to some things right now, and that's okay, but we just need to get ourselves ahead. So comp plan training yeah. is in there. And when I talk comp plan training, I'm also talking more of how we show somebody the money, not just the theory. Yeah. Okay. That'd be awesome. So those are all things that are you know already planned and in place and mm -hmm. uh, moving forward that will leave people really positioned to recommit to Manatech. And for those of you that are newly committed to you know commit long term and have the resources to fly, so awesome. Right. What would you what would you like to leave people with? Just do it. <laughs> Nike. That's simple. Go Nike. Go <laughs> no go Manatech, but just do it anyway. Yeah. Yes, you heard that. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, next week, Gloria. Yeah. And um, not next Tuesday, the following. So the 20th, 21st and 22nd, or is it the 21st, 22nd, 23rd? The Tuesday, the following week. Is it not next week? week it's the week after. Yeah, next okay. week is Valentine's night. And I thought nobody would turn up. Oh, yeah, probably and not. And on Bounce Back, I believe it's in transit, Dita. I don't have an answer other than that because I can't control how long it will sit in customs and wait to be cleared into the country. But Bounce Back, I do believe it's in transit. So we'll stay tuned and we'll keep you updated. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everybody. Have a great look. at We went the whole hour, Sinead. 53 minutes. We were set. 50. That's all right. It's been good. It's been fantastic. It's good so, to see you. God bless you, Sinead. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, everyone. Thank Everybody's you. Everybody's really happy you're back. And we'll see you guys next week with um, all the training and then yes. John Partridge. So Fabulous. We'll, we'll work on some of your questions next week in regards to the refresher. So that it's yep. just going to be us, okay? It's just going to be our, our team supporting each other to be the best we can. So um, we can cover some of those questions today, next week. Yep. Fantastic. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Everybody. Have Bye. a great weekend. Bye.